Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Episode eight. Every every episode's an absolute milestone at this point. Um, <laughs> um, this time we're back to rocking. Just me and me and Ryder, no guest. Um, but it was really fun having a guest on. Uh, thank you to the people that commented. At least we know we got two people that listen. That's that's breaking records. Uh, but uh, yeah, Ryder's alongside me. However he's doing, I don't know. Probably good enough. Yeah, good enough. Um, again, I'm gonna say it, I haven't talked for a week, so this episode is about to be another off-the-cuff fiesta. Um, so yeah, what's been up? Anything fun and exciting? Well, number one, today is May 23rd. Oh yeah, today's May 23rd, <laughs> Thursday, Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. Man, the year ain't that important since we upload them in the same year anyway. Yeah, but in like 30 years from now when we listen again, well, yeah, it'll just be true. funny. Although the video yeah, will have a date. Um, that, anyway. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, what's been up? Right you never know. What's been up, man? Um. Oh, no, dude. A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's sad to say. A whole lot of nothing. Pretty boring. Pretty boring week for me. Um. My back's got better. I can tell you that hasn't really been hurting since uh, last week. I think last week was when it was like I was like, oh man, it kind of came back hurting. Um, but yeah, it's been fine. That's uh, uh I got. I don't, I don't know if I said this on last week. I don't even know if I had them last week, but I got my pills finally to take. My uh, what are they? Uh, let's look. Lasartan potassium. I think that's the blood pressure pill. Oh yeah, and then uh, Lamictal. <laughs> like, yeah, for <laughs> medicine, just has the most random names to me. Yeah, I know, I and mean, I'm really bad at reading them. Uh, that's supposed to help with anxiety, I guess, or something. Number one, they're not, they don't really seem to be working too good. <laughs> Either one. <laughs> well, I'm pretty we sure. Blood pressure, it's still high as hell. It's like really high. How long have you so... been taking them? Because that stuff does have to re like take it, run its course. I know like anxiety medicine takes uh, like two weeks to get into your system. Okay. Uh, and depression medicine, from week, what I heard. Week, week and a half. Okay. About week and a half. About. Well, what, what's today? Thursday. Well, to be fair, It'll be two weeks on Sun. I think Sunday will be two weeks. This is this is really crucial. This question is very crucial to the blood pressure gauge. Yeah. Did you check your blood pressure before or after you woke up to seeing Lost Planet on the screen? Because <laughs> that's important. <laughs> uh. It would have been. You checked it, it after. after. I, well, that there's yeah, your been, answer. Don't sweat it. Would after, man. <laughs> that it was hard to explain. I didn't know if you get the joke, but in that video, it was in the Onimusha video I was watching, right? Okay. Where they start talking about like other Capcom properties, all of a sudden he just shows Lost Planet, and I'm like, you can't jump scare me with Lost Planet out of nowhere, <laughs> man. Come on, man. You can't be doing that. Lost Planet, the notorious worst game we ever beat. <laughs> just, yeah. I think we've mentioned it. I I don't know. Maybe don't we know, talked about. It? I don't know. I don't know if we talked about it on here. Well, Lost but... Planet is like legit. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, we yeah we had to have. We we probably did in like the yeah. first episode. Yeah, we had to have. But yeah, terrible. So horrible, funny though. No, game. I knew the joke right away. <laughs> I'm like, well. <laughs> yeah, sadly I couldn't watch that whole video. I, I like I I watched one, and then I skipped to the uh, two spinoffs because I don't care about them. The what the, the fighting uh, game and the fighting game and the TRPG, Dude. which of course are like really short and Does they like. Isn't doesn't that fighting game have Mega Man in it? Yes, it does. That's so crazy. Yeah, he does not weird. belong. <laughs> I don't care if it's a Capcom game. He doesn't like fit the aesthetic of that game from what I've seen. No, not at all. Not, yeah. not one bit. But I actually well, had a yeah, chance kinda... to get that game for like fifteen bucks, and I kind of regret it because I don't know. It might be fun, and it's like at, at the point of owning the first three, it's kind of like nah. I guess I just kind of want them all now. <laughs> Yeah. What's the other spinoff? I, I don't know the three. other one. Uh, the other spinoff is the uh, tactical game. Oh, when you wish the tactics on um DS? Or is that on PS2 as well? I think it's on Game Boy Advance, maybe. Oh, is it GBA? Okay. That makes sense, right? That makes yeah, sense. I mean, that yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, 
I'll, I'll watch those because like I don't care about those, you know. Yeah. And I, I really could watch the other ones because like I don't care about the story really, but but I kind of just want to play them. Just kind of just want to play them. I need to play two well, soon. I I, really I think I think um one of the reasons I don't like watching those types of videos on games that I I know I'm gonna play in the future is I I don't like a, my opinion to be skewed. Or view of it mean, to be yeah. skewed. So I like to play it fi- and then find out what other people thought. You know, did they like it as much as I did or did they not like it as much as I didn't? Because with two, I'm really, yeah. I didn't watch the video at all, but I'm like really curious because he might, he might say things about two that like, I, I just don't agree with, or maybe he'll shed light on things that I didn't notice. Because, so I have watched videos on games before that. It, on games that I wasn't really fond of, but after watching a video, it kind of opened up my eyes to it a little more. Okay, yeah. Which is weird when uh, it happens, but... Is, for you, is Onimusha 2, like... Is it, like, straight a bad game, or is it kind of like a DMC2 game? Where no, it's, it's, like, it's like... it's like. Is it, like, straight just bad? It's like a 5 out of 10. Like, it's just like... Okay. It's just like... I guess a 5 out of 10 is technically average, or is that... What is... What is I'd say it's a- that's what I go with average. It just it just wasn't, man. That's what I don't know. At five for me, like that's what I give like a generic title. Yeah. You know, if you played like a generic like hack and slash, I'd be like a five out of ten. So yeah, it's fine. It's like whatever. I I I mean I will say I didn't like it, so I guess it was bad, in my opinion. But okay. it wasn't. I guess it was kind of like DMC two, where it's like I'll I'll never play it again. But it it's not. I'm not gonna sit there and say it was like that bad, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I that didn't game's know if already it was just... so forgettable. Yeah, I didn't know if it was bad because it's bad, like just a bad game, or if it was bad because of the first one. You know? Yeah, I think. But that's what I feel like DMC Two does is like the first one's so good, and then the second one's just just shooting everything. <laughs> it seemed like they <laughs> changed the formula in two just a little bit because they wanted to make it a little more RPG oriented. And I'm okay. curious if three has that because I almost feel like they learned to not like. I wouldn't be surprised if three is much different than two because they learned that the formula they used in two wasn't good. That's what I hope. Yeah, because only mission two is weird because I did play it a little bit. You get to like the town, it's just like people just like talking to people yeah. and stuff. It's like yep. I was like way different. Um, do I have anything else interesting? I don't really think so. No work stories this week. Nothing really happened. Okay. I mean, I guess that's good. I mean, okay, I can say this, I guess. Um, Because I told you, I think we said it off pod when you mentioned, like, when we were talking about me coming over, right? And I said that, uh, well, she said maybe not, right? And you got mad. Um, Well, I made up an excuse. I said, because she asked me, she's like... What do you need those days off for? Got a date with Ray? I'm like, no, it's like for my dad. <laughs> I just straight up lied, right? Okay. Wait. <laughs> like, cause I'm like, if I say it's like with my dad, maybe I'll have like a better chance. You're dating your dad? Is that what you told her? No, just like <laughs> it's like a dad thing. Just like a dad thing. Okay. Let me. She's gonna piss me off even more. God damn it. Listen. First of all, why is none of your business ever to an employer yeah. ever? ever need to tell them why um that is like i guess it i wasn't there to to like hear how she said it but that is like so passive aggressive in a sense where it's like oh are you not coming to work because you you got you you're like it almost makes it sound like you're trying to get out of it out of working and like you're, oh what because you're just gonna go do something fun instead like i don't know it kind of yeah. just seems, yeah, <laughs> yeah it, just, it just seems like passive aggressive. You know, I don't know. She she sucks, but. Yeah, but um, then like a couple of days after that, she uh, asked me, um, she was like, oh, what are you doing with your dad? I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, my God, dude. Well, who cares? <laughs> like, why should and then care? I was like, Then I was like, I don't know. He just told me to take off. It's like a surprise. So... So I'm in like a lie now, I guess. But um, I told my dad, dad, he's like, yeah, see, look at that. Look, this is like exactly what he said. I said, yeah, I told her that uh, you had like a surprise for me. That's why I took off. It's like, yeah, see, 
now you're in this like little lie. You got to come up with truth. And I was like, well, she made it seem like I couldn't have off. Well, you know what? Fuck that bitch. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fuck that bitch. It's none of her fucking business. Dude, exactly. Like, it's okay. not. Like, okay, dad, you changed real quick there. You changed, you changed quick on a dime. Yeah, it's so, I've never had an employer ask me why I need off. I've never. It's because it's, it's, it, that's not any of their business. It's just, I need off. That's it. I'm just letting you know. Because all your only job as the employee is to inform them in advance that you will not be there. That's your job. doesn't matter yeah. why. As long as you Ouch. tell. So it's like, man, she, oh, man. She's never worked uh-huh. like in a like. She, she works a real job, but she's never treated it like a job. Like she doesn't know how to work a job and act like a manager and actually fulfill her role she just doesn't know how to do it it's crazy but she would only ever be able to be what she is at a place like that she would never make it anywhere else because she can't properly be a manager she gets to get away with so much there that she doesn't realize how like nice she has it and and she still complains about the most asinine small things this person I can't believe this person left a cart here. It's like, oh my god, who cares? <laughs> who cares? But yeah, at least you know. I guess all that matters is that you got off those days. It's just like you shouldn't yeah, have to off. sit here and jump through eight hoops. It's that's like insane. Because what's that? Yeah, two weeks away. Yeah. Yeah, it's like two weeks away. It's like, yeah. and you told her this three weeks ago, almost a month ago, yeah. even. Yeah, yeah, it's it would like, have been like a month before. God. Um, yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck. I didn't want to do that. What about Wait. you? You have anything interesting? Sad? Um, oh. Yeah, I've oh, got man, a few please. stories. All right, go uh, ahead. Um, but I want to say, um, I think we mentioned this last podcast, but, um, you know, he's the whole reason is like for him to come over so we can watch Summer Games Fest. Um, and speaking of speaking of. Um, so this is the seventh and eighth, right? Yeah, seventh is Summer Games Fest. Eight is Xbox Showcase. But yeah, the eighth I don't wait. Now I'm trying to remember. Actually, the ninth is the Xbox Showcase. I think. Okay. One of them. One of them's. Oh, sorry, you, you're here. You're here. You're gonna hear me typing. I, I had to look this up because we were talking about. God damn it. Um, I, I mentioned that like the Xbox things like really early in the morning. But I don't think that it's... Oh, man. What were you going to say, though? I'm, like, trying okay, to find something. Okay, anyway. Sound. Anyway. So I'm coming over 7th and 8th. Are you... What are you doing that Thursday? That Thursday? What are you, are you working, working Thursday? Are you working Thursday? Like, the Thursday before? I don't think so i mean i don't know but i cannot if i need to not it's like i mean like because i don't know i could come over thursday then be there like uh two days you yeah know? we haven't come hung out in a thursday. long time so yeah it's that and um you know what else is the seventh and eighth mm. fucking yard sales yard oh sales really and eighth. Yeah. At, at the at the at the last like last time we went when we got dropped off and walked around that place yeah uh, I'm not sure. I know, like, I think I don't know if it's all of Red Dot. Uh, it's fuck. It doesn't um, matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't know if it's all of it, but I know, like, um, you know, like that. Ch- there's like that one church. There's like a cop sits there near, near like a car dealership. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says on there, like, big sign, like, yard sales seventh and eighth. Okay. It's like, um, but I that usually I think is it's when school get out it's usually the week after school gets out school gets out pretty soon so. um i think the seniors are already out which means which probably is this, that week then so it probably yeah. is that day them days um but like if i come over thursday and honestly if i just say fuck sleep whatever you know <laughs> we can like go out and out and bow if you want yeah for yard sure. sales if you want to um but I mainly just want to. I, I, we haven't hung out in a while, dude. Yeah, it's I want to get over there and actually stay for like a little bit. Yeah, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday would be nice. Yeah, it's been it's been a while, and it's been uh, a long just to while. just to clarify, yeah, um, the actual Summer Games Fest show starts 5 p.m. eat for our our time on on Friday, 
Um, five Eastern. Yeah, five p.m. Thursday. Okay. I mean Friday. I don't want to say Thursday. Friday. Yeah, yeah um, I know. I know it's Friday. That's why it's weird because it, it, it was always on Thursday. Yeah. It was always on Thursday, and they moved it to Friday now for some reason. Um, the ne- and then the eighth is just more games. That the eighth doesn't seem that important. It's ninth is the Xbox showcase, which could maybe show something, but that one's at one p.m. Eastern, so a little earlier. That's what I thought. But yeah. Um, hey. My, to me, I don't really care about anything past the actual like yeah. first show, the initial show. The only, the literal only reason Xbox has any weight for me now is that's the last time they showed Silk Song was at an Xbox showcase, and it just lets me know that things like that can be just there. So yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, for sure, we'll uh, we can um, I can make sure that I'm in either way, even if I work that Thursday, I mean. By the time you're up and would come over anyway, I'd probably be done for the day. Because, <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, yeah, I sure. normally get done by, like, two. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, all right. Um, but, yeah. Um, well, basically, though, what I was going with that is with, because of the Summer Games Fest, you coming over, um, we may or may not, I don't know, we'll, we'll think about it, um, maybe come on here and record that night and talk about the games we saw and how we felt and just kind of, like... You know, you'll just be sitting next to me. We'll share the same mic, do the same style we're yeah. doing here, though, and talk about it. Um, All right. So that might happen. But uh, as far as what I've been up to, it's been it's been what what I miss. What's funny? No, I was just think I was thinking like, what if I brought like my mic over and then I went to like the living room? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're talking to each other, but we're in the same house. It'd be funny. It'd be, It'd be see, funny. we wouldn't be able to share a mic if my mic was like a headset mic. But since it's a standalone, yeah, it can be used. But yeah, um, since you got a good one, I don't. Dude, this mic is so outdated now, it's crazy. Um, it was, like, at one point, like, a really top of the line, and now it's not. <laughs> not at all. Oh, but, well. Um, anyway, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. So, um, so, the last time we talked, I'm just going to get right into this before I forget, because I just remembered it. Um, last time we talked, I was playing Metal Gear Solid 3 for the first time. Yes. And I was, like, near the halfway point at that, at, well, we were playing it. Or whatever, and um, I finished it since then, and yeah. I will say, absolute ten out of ten, one of the best games I ever played, yeah, fantastic, one of the best games ever made. Um, loved it, loved everything about it. There wasn't a section or a situation, a bot, like nothing that was like that took me out of the experience or anything. I hated. I, I really enjoyed it all the way through, and. I haven't had this feeling in a while, but when it ended, I was kind of like sad. I was kind of like, man, yeah. like this game could have been longer and I'd be like so for it. Um, but I don't think it was too short or anything. I think it was a sweet spot. I'm just saying it was like one of those games where it's like sucks when it's over. Um, but yeah, super, super good. Um, I think uh, I'm going to get into a little spoiler territory. Skip ahead if you haven't played it. Um, but yeah, I think Otacon's awesome in this game i really do um i, I like i'm oh, sorry <laughs> ocelot the wrong o <laughs> yeah the wrong o my bad ocelot he's really cool love ocelot in that game man he's awesome he's, he's so awesome yeah i like him a lot and i really like what is hold on a second sorry has, has this been on the whole time ah the camera's uh, off Cameras been on the whole time, huh? Cameras been on the whole time, huh? Hello. Uh. Hello. <laughs> I'm trying to find. Oh man, I don't know. Oh, that's not. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Anyway, who cares? I thought my I thought my retro tink had been on for like a week straight. Oh. It's not even this. <laughs> I'm not even looking at the right thing. I'm looking at the fucking HDMI splitter that's always on. Sorry. Um. But yeah, Ocelot. Okay. Because dude, right. I was getting worried because like I, I, you know, I don't want to leave that thing on for no reason. That was expensive. Uh, I just that's saw like a blue every light. system, man. Yeah. So you see a system on. Yeah. Um, I, I woke up one day, my PS5 was on. I'm like, what the hell? I, I turned it on when I was sleeping. Yeah. Oh man, spent too much money on that thing to just let it be on. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I, I think Ocelot's really cool. I, <laughs> I will say, I mean, 
It's Kojima. It's Metal Gear. It's a really wacky game. The enemies are bizarre. Like the bosses are yeah, so bizarre. Just, just like, weird bosses, man. The, the the soldiers are like so normal. They're just like normal soldiers, but then the bosses are like completely out of their mind. Like who thought of this, Kojima? Um, I the thing I really liked is it's like there was so there was a lot of like ocelot coming into his character of course in this yeah but i like at the end i know i'm kind of just giving right to the end but the end i thought was really fascinating the the little end scene that uh ocelot and snake have where they do like uh they're they're doing like hand-to-hand cqc combat and then are, are you talking about on the plane yeah and they pull yeah. up the revolvers and he's like how about Which, one last little dance yeah he's like you know two two revolvers load a bullet russian roulette style pick your gun whatever um it's like <laughs> at the end i'm like are they friends or well i'm like, <laughs> like are they like no, they're not friends but it's like I, I all i took from it at the end is like ocelot has a lot of respect for snake there's like a lot of respect between them or something because it's like it, it was kind of reminding me of like joker and the batman <laughs> If that makes any sense. Where it's like, Ocelot does not want Snake alive. and But Snake doesn't want to kill Ocelot either. So I don't know. It was it was pretty cool. And I do kind of know, spoilers of, of 5, that makes the whole end scene of MGS3 make a lot of sense. Um, but just in general, I just think Ocelot was an awesome character. Good Good story development with him. He was probably the main, the main uh, like character of that game for me. I think that, um, <laughs> God, why am I blanking on his name? Uh, Volgan, God, uh, Volgan. I think Volgan was pretty all right. Um, he's as the main villain. He's like pretty forgettable. I'd say. Mm-hmm. I'd say he's like pretty forgettable as like a main villain. Like he's not like Liquid. You like you remember yeah. Liquid? You know. Yeah. I mean, I, he's better than uh, Solidus. He's Solidus, <laughs> dude. He's better than Solidus, Snake. I'll yeah, tell you Solidus that. is rough. Um, yeah. yeah, Vulcan's all right. Um, I think the boss yeah. is is cool. I think she's a really good character, um, which is like the ending, them kind of explaining who she is and what she did was pretty cool, but then... I mean, then you post cutscenes is like all oh, that gets thrown in the trash anyway. <laughs> but um, or no, that doesn't get thrown in the trash. What gets thrown in the trash at the end cutscene is the um what the, what they thought their mission was to get the um what is that the they're supposed to give the plans to somebody, but they they like swapped it with a fake or something. So then, like, America got the real one or something bizarre. Um, but the boss was cool being being Snake's mentor. Uh, and then, you know, they grew hate towards each other. But then you find out that she just needed Snake to kill her and carry on the name of Big Boss. Like, it was her. It was basically her legacy or her uh, goal. To- are, we, are we just going to be complete spoilers here? Like, yeah, are we I said just that. Complete spoilers? Okay, okay. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. So did you know you actually played Big Boss in that game before you played it? No. Like you're not I, Snake. Okay. I never knew. I never knew, like, the differences between Liquid Snake, Snake, Big Boss. Like, I didn't know anything of, like, how each of them got to be who they are. Like, you know? Like, I didn't understand. Yeah. Um, yeah but yeah so like you <laughs> it's I, what I don't understand though is so snake is not big boss right is that like yes you're correct they are so two different people why in the world do they look identical I think <sighs> I think they explained it in one, right? Maybe. 
Uh, they explain you know why liquid and you know s solid are all similar. Okay. What? They didn't mention anything about boss in the first one. I didn't think. It might. It might also. It, it might be in the end, like, like NES games, uh, like the Metal Gear games. I can't remember. They, they're they pretty much. Um, I don't think it's that big of a spoiler anyway. Um, it's um, they like use like cells from Big Boss to like make like a super soldier. That's kind of what Snake is. Like Solid Snake is like a super soldier, and they use like uh, Big Boss's cells to make him that way. And they did it with Liquid as well. So they just have like these cells from a uh, Big Boss in them. That's what they look alike. So they're kind of like pseudo sons of him, you know, kind of like his kid. In a, in a way. Huh. I think they... I think they, like, implied in one. I can't remember exactly. I haven't played one in a while. But it might be more in Metal Gear. Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2. Where, uh, you, like, learn that. It, it might be implied in one. It's just I only thought they were talking about liquid and solid. You okay. know? And, like, I, yeah. I don't remember them mentioning boss, but... Maybe they did, and I just, it went over my head because I didn't actually know who that person was or the yeah, importance of the character. Boss, yeah, Big Boss isn't in one, right? No, not at all. Yeah, so. But, yeah, um, it, it was it was really cool that you know, they were saying that she's, like, going down in history as, like, the most hated person in the world, but yeah, those, like who, those who actually know... You know the story. Which is like um, two people. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what, like yeah. a couple people. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, the girl. The girl was cool. Um, now I'm forgetting Eve. her name. Is it Eve? Yeah, but what, Eva, her, other, Eva. her other name. Because uh, she, she's Eve, but she's also... Oh, man. It's Eva, but... she she's like She has to disguise herself when she's um with... Volgan and Ocelot and Boss, because she's like, oh, dude, she, it, they, okay. They think she's like Khrushchev's wife or something, right? Or yeah, isn't she like actually work with the Chinese? She yeah, actually work with the yeah. Chinese, which is it's it's funny because Ocelot, Ocelot is working with like the Russians. Yeah, but he was sent to the Russians from the Chinese, right? The Chinese sent him there as like an inside man, but he's actually working with the Americans. Yeah. So he's like a, because he says at the very end, he's like, I was triple crossing him. I'm like, holy fuck, Ocelot, you fucking, you're goat, you're the goat boy, you're the goat man. Um, her name was Tatiana. Eva, is that what it is? It's Eva, also known as Tatiana. Okay. Um, yeah, because she's like, that's what happens, right? Where, um, she's like working with the Chinese and she gets like the wrong plans, right? They have like, it's our like fakes or something. Yeah. They, because I think Oc Ocelot actually has them. Ocelot yeah. one actually has. Yeah, it's uh, he's talking that's to the why. President at the end. He's yeah. talking to the president at the end. Yeah, yeah. At, yeah post cut scenes, he's like, yeah, they think they got the real one, but I have it. Yeah, yeah. that's okay, what I was yeah, talking okay. about. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, super super cool game. Um, uh, I love the. Uh, by the way, I love the fight with the boss. Like perfect final boss. Yeah. Here in the flower field. Yeah, that that fight was really cool. It was very, really easy, but it was cool. It, it was very easy. I would say, very easy. I think Metal Gear Solid 3 as a game is very easy. Yeah, I, I think don't 3 being is, is, at is all. easier than 1. And I think it's yeah. because of all the mechanics that you get to use in 1 or in 3, I think really help um, make it easier. Um, okay. Also, you said you went through that game, like killing everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when you fought the Sorrow, were you actually like getting. A lot of enemies, Dude, like coming it was at you. Flooded. Okay, because <laughs> yours was, was empty. Complete, it was completely, it was completely <laughs> empty for me because I didn't kill I was anybody. Dodging people like crazy. Yeah, that's an awesome fight there. Yeah. That's a well. I, it's not. A, I don't know. I don't know it's, if it's, it's a, fight. It's I a even, moment. I, I even, guess. Yeah I, wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't even classify it as a boss. It's a really long um, cutscene. It's, it's like a yeah. It's like a really long playable cutscene because you have to take the uh, what the death pill too. You have to fake end. death. Yeah. Yeah, you have to fake your death. Um, that's a bizarre character, man. Boss killed like Sorrow. Guy. Yeah. He's... Yeah. Oh my God. Um, I will say though, 
moved on to MGS4 right after. Yeah. And I thought, I was like, I, I didn't really know what to expect going into the game. And I will say, um, it, it exceeded my expectations when I was playing it. Um, but it's starting to go down pretty fast. What are actually, you at? I, I actually haven't even played in like a while now at this point like maybe almost a week i haven't played it um i just got done uh killing was it the last thing i did I'm trying to make sure was the last major thing i did i think the last major thing i did was kill laughing octopus that is man oh is that is that in chapter one? Two. Act two. Chap act two? Act two. Uh, uh, okay. I can't remember. I can't remember which act. Pretty sure it's act two. Like, unless what, unless what that was the end of two? act one and I'm in act two now. What's in act two? Or like, what well, like, what were you doing? Um. Like, I don't know. Like, what was, like, what's like the, like, environment look like? Um, it's kind of like open, grassy woodland, but not a lot of, not a lot of trees. Um, just like, like farm. I don't know. It looks like I'm in like a, like a urban place. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, okay. And I met with Naomi. Okay. Right before the game, <laughs> that game is a lot. Like that game's almost overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, there's a lot in that game. It feels like they're trying to cram too much into a small, like into too little. Like it is like overload. They're like, here's all these returning characters. Here's stories. Here's this. Here's these long cutscenes. Here's all this information, and it just feels like it's being crammed at, like and like thrown at you. That it's like, I, I can't even remember the order of certain things. And, and you're trying to deal with that while, like, the game's running at, like, 10 FPS. It's like, <laughs> dude, that's, I'll be honest, that's what's killing me, man. It runs so bad. So, yeah. like, unplayably bad. God, the PS3 is so trash. It is so trash. It is hey. the most worth, like one of the most worthless systems I've ever fucking played, man. I wish I could say I like that system. That system is terrible. No, the games just cannot run on that game at like a, a functional level. I just get like irritated thinking about it because it's like, it's so bad. When I go back and play these games, they're so bad to play. I hate it. It's like maybe frustrating. When, uh... <laughs> When the uh, collection, the second volume of the collection comes out, maybe they'll uh, up the frames and stuff. I hope so, because, dude, you're trying to do things. It's, like, dropping to, like, 12 FPS. You can't even, like, properly aim. It's, oh, my God, man. There's so many frustrating moments because of the frame rate of that game that I've I've legit turned it off a couple times. So I'm, not, I'm like, I'm not playing. Like, I've, mo I've already gotten multiple times where I'm like, I'm not playing this. Like, I can't play this. This is not playable. It's, like, frustrating. Because it's not even, oh, I'm dying. Oh, no. It just runs so bad. It's an eyesore and makes me, like, want to throw up. The PS3 is a piece of shit. I'm saying it right now. This game has really cemented. The PS3 is a worthless fucking console that generation. It is so bad. 360 is a million times better. Anybody that is collecting PS3, please switch to 360 and do your eyes a fucking favor. It is disgusting, the comparison. And why PS3 games are more expensive than the Xbox version is beyond me, because they are legitimately worthless to me. They are worthless games. So, that's my rant. I hate the PS3. I hate it. Um, cause the controller is one of the worst controllers I've ever used. Terrible controller. Like, that oh, whole, the whole system is just a... It might be worse than the fucking Wii. Um, but... I'm not like, going to say that, boy. Dude, the fucking... God, I hate the PS3. Um... But yeah, so it's it's rough trying to get through that. It really is, cause, um, but yeah, the stories. I like the story. I just like seeing on the returning like characters and and whatnot. It's it's pretty cool. Um, that it's 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 like 
the only game in the franchise that feels like a direct continuation of of another game. It just feels like, you know, it's picking up not after one, but not like directly after one, but like some point after one. Um which is cool. Um Yeah, it is. Um but you know, I'll I'll get through it eventually if me yeah, there's uh, not a a lot of the stuff I'd say about four is like when you're done with four. I'm not Same even situation. kidding. I'm not even kidding. I might not. I might skip four, go right to five, and just pray that four comes out on the collection. That might be. That might be smart, dude. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I, I, kudos to you for liking the PS3 and playing it. I can't do it. I'm tapping out. That system's trash. And every time I have to use that the fucking controller, I'm like, dude, <laughs> this whole system is so bad. So sorry, I ended up into a PS3 rant, but I, I was one thing I wanted to mention was just how I've really come to turn against the PS3. Harsh. If it's a first, see, here's the thing, and that is only on the PS3. That is a like first party PS3 game, oh, and it runs that bad. It. Yeah. And and it's unreal because Uncharted doesn't run that bad, right? Like. Uh, um. I, I never really had problems with Uncharted, but now like you just play it on PS4 anyway. Yeah, so. but like Last of Us. Uh, just these games that that were made for the PS3 in house, like they're made for the PS3 first, you know. But this one is not that way. And in the frustrating thing, people like all said, the first party games are have ports on PS4, like yeah, that anyway. That were exactly. only on the PS3, except MGS4. And what's annoying is I looked it up because I was like, is everyone else, anyone else having this problem with this frame rate? I was like, man, this game's like frame rate's so bad, it's so hard to play. They were like, yeah. Um, in order to make the game like run at a better frame rate, you have to play stealth only because as soon as you fire your gun and like do combat, the game goes to like 10 FPS. And that like frustrated me because I'm like, that's how I like to play those games. I, I know like people might be like, it's a stealth game. It's not though. You don't have to play like a stealth game. And I'm not trying to sound like, like a, like a, like snort over here. And like, cause I'm not playing the game wrong. I'm not, I'm not, um, and I think that four really lends itself to the combat because of the customization. Like it incentivizes you to use your guns. It's it's legit a cover shooter. It's like it almost plays like Gears of War in some ways. It's a cover shooter with weapon customization. And you want me to just avoid all all fights and just run around in stealth? I just feel like this game really welcomes combat. And I think the combat. I don't fun. remember. Yeah. I don't. I don't remember actually playing that game stealthily. Like I did three and like it doesn't. One, it doesn't welcome. And and you're trying to play stealth. You've got a, you've got um uh your like army with like your um I, I don't know what like this a squad that's also fighting the enemy you're fighting. You're not on their side. You're not with them. They just you're like mutual because you're you got a mutual enemy. You're even if you're stealthing around, they're they're shooting at each other. So it's there's not like. Even when you're not doing combat, there's combat happening on the screen causing it to chug. So, um, you know, so I think I'm going to skip four, go to five, because as far as I know, five is a prequel anyway. So I feel like I'm not, I don't think playing five is going to ruin four. I don't four think. is the last, is the, like the yeah. final in the series. So I think like, I'm okay to like play five into four. I think I don't I don't I, I don't think I don't see how there would be spoilers for four and five. There's no way because no doesn't five take place before one? Yeah. Uh, yes. It takes. So. <laughs> yeah. It, it takes place after um, Peace Walker. Yeah. Okay. So Which Peace Walker takes place after three. Three's the earliest okay. one. Th three's the earliest one. Yeah. In the timeline. Which Ocelot's the reason I found that out. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he pretty much lets you know real quick. You're like, this is Ocelot. He was like. 80 years younger <laughs> yeah yeah he's, and he doesn't even know you don't even know what he what he's doing can't even use a gun um yeah, okay uh, that's enough metal gear talk sorry i, I was um but, I, want, well, I want to mention one thing about metal gear solid 3 we didn't talk about the end that mm -hmm. boss fight did you like the end as like a fight as like a con it's, it's another thing it's like it's not really a fight you know what i mean like it, um, it is but it's like not I, I'll be honest. At first, I didn't really understand how to do it properly. Yeah. Because I was like, okay, um, uh, I'm just like, want to make sure, um, 
is the end the sniper, right? Like He's the old, the sniper old sniper dude. Sniper. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I like legit couldn't find him. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, uh, I'm like kind of walking around, sneaking. Like, where's he at? Where's he at? I couldn't find him. And I'm like just running around. All of a sudden, he's like there, and he's like shoots at me, and I'm like, oh shit! Like there, he's he's somewhere. Um, but then I found out that like you can see the glint from his scope. Um, and that's how you find out where he is. But uh, um, I think the fight could have been a lot better. Um, I think it would have been cooler if it was more of a fight like Sniper Wolf was. I think. Because, I'll be honest, the way I ended up fighting the end was I just ran after him with an AK-47. I didn't even snipe him. Yeah. So, it's like, I didn't hear, I didn't even probably do it the way they wanted me to. Um, but, um, there's like a cutscene earlier with him where he's like in a wheelchair, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. You can actually kill him there. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you can snipe him right there, and he, then you won't have to fight him when you're, uh... That's funny. I didn't know that. Yeah, you, you, you can kill him there. Also, if... If, when you fight the end, if you, if you, uh, don't play for a week, he dies of old age, and you don't have to fight him. If you, like, leave the game on for a week? No, if you just, like... Yeah, I think if you just turn it off. Like, if you just have it off, and then, like, um... You load your save up a week later? Yeah, like, load it up a week later. If it goes by, like, the uh, internal clock of the uh, console. That is um, hilarious. You'll, you'll just, yeah, you get, like, a call, and it'll be like, yeah, you passed away from old age. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I like that. like, oh, that's kind of, I'm kind of disappointed. Dang. <laughs> that's funny. That's <laughs> so bizarre. A, that's, that's such a Kojima thing. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy he got that to, like, he was able to take advantage of something like that, because... I wouldn't have even thought that was possible. I wonder how many other games yeah. even take like advantage of the of the clock in that way. I don't know about that. Like that. Like the only other games that I think like use like the eternal clock was um Fable Two did. Um it would it used the like every hour of the internal clock on the three sixty, but you would get like the money for like the rent of like the buildings you own, right? Mm-hmm. So you could just so you go to like the internal clock and just ma like take it all the way to the the, um, like the end, and then yeah. you go in and you get like max money. Yeah, I did that on Skyrim. Yeah, you could, could, did it work like that on Skyrim? Yeah, too? it worked like that on Skyrim. Um, I used to do that with, uh, like on, on, uh, on Switch. You can do that on like with Switch games. Uh, yeah, I've done that a couple times, speed up the, cause there was actually, when Mario Maker came out, tell me how dumb this is. When Mario, Ma I believe it was Mario Maker 2, when Mario Maker 2 came out, you, unlocked things to make levels you unlocked like one new thing a day for like a week as far as i remember so you just skip that you just force the clock ahead unlock all the stuff and then set the clock back <laughs> i'm right. pretty sure it was mario maker too um but i will say one last thing about metal gear as well this fr like i love this for this franchise and after beating one and three two um yeah, I don't know. Uh, two doesn't exist. Not sure where that game went. Um, sorry, uh, but uh, I'm, I, I really like how these games play and the atmosphere and what Kojima did with them. And it, uh, I was like thinking about this while I was playing. Like as I finished three, I was like, man, like when I finish the Metal Gear franchise, like that's it. You know, where I, I just I don't think we're gonna get a like new Metal Gear ever. Again. I don't think well. I don't think so either. I don't. So. There's no way. There's no way they'd make another metal, like an actual like Metal Gear that like is with like Snake and yeah, not the three remake that we like know is coming. Like a legit like I new one, you that, know, yeah. like Metal Gear Six. I don't like. We're, we're never gonna get Metal Gear Six. Nah, nope. It's so. that's a it's a franchise that's pretty much dead now. And I'm Kojima's not making Metal Gear games on his own. Like he's not yeah, making it's... Metal Gear style games. I should say. So. One. No. Plus, you know, the IPs in Konami's hands, so it's yep. dead in the water. I mean, I oh, guess man. it's not dead in the water only because they were like they're coming out with the port and then like they're doing the remake. So it's like they're they're using the the IP. It's just how much are they going to use it moving forward from after the yeah. second collection comes out and after three remake comes out? You know, it might go back to silent. 
I want them to pick up Castlevania again as well. There's a couple, like, because they're, like, allowing companies to use Castlevania lately for, like, uh, he, Castlevania got added to V Rising, you know, they're, they, they're with Dead Cells, they got a Netflix adaptation, so, like, the, the, the franchise itself is being used and utilized, it's just not being used for games, like, their own games. At least with Castlevania, like, that could exist. Like, you could, like, easily just make a game of that, because, you know, like, how that lore is of that yeah. franchise, where it's just like, oh, you just like, oh, it's like 300 years later, Dracula comes It's back. so safe. It's like, they really yeah, set, set up, like, a safe franchise. Because you just like, oh, this guy, this is like, oh, this is uh, Alex Belmont, and he's going after Dracula. It's yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, it's, like, it's sweet. I agree. It, it, play. Honestly, it's kind of like Mario. You can legit yeah, keep doing the same hard. thing <laughs> on, yeah. like, repeat, and it's okay. Uh, Castlevania, that's one I'd love to see. They, I'd love to see a new one. Could you that, imagine, man. like, a love modern, like, I'm not even, like, I'm not even asking for, like, a cat, like a Metroidvania 2D, uh, like, like, take, like, Castlevania and, and make, like, a God of War Ragnarok-style game with it. That'd be crazy. Like, just... This awesome action adventure game that's like cinematic and cool, and like on the PS5 or PS6, I think that'd be awesome to see Alucard. He plays Alucard, and man, make it like don't don't make it like a Souls like, please, for the love of God. Not a, don't need to cast any Souls like. Um, but I just think that'd be really cool to to see that game in, on on modern hardware hardware like through like Unreal Engine 5 or something new. Something like that, yeah, be sweet. Um, man, what uh, the other thing? <laughs> I'm trying to on like a Metal Gear rant. Um, I uh, randomly decided two day. Uh, no wait, was it Tuesday? No, it was Monday. Got home from work Monday, and Laurel was coming over, and she's like. She got off work at 2. She got here at like 2.30. Well, I found out that my favorite band was playing in Philadelphia. And I'm like, oh, man. Like, like that night. And I was like, dude, I want to go so bad. I want to go so bad. Looked up tickets. Tickets weren't that crazy. So, on a whim, bought two tickets and just went. <laughs> just randomly. Um, so Monday, Philadelphia, where he went and had the parking problem. It was legitimately across the street from where we were last time, and okay. that's why I br- that's why I want to bring it up. When we, I'll briefly tell the story for those listeners. My girlfriend planned a trip to go see Two Door Cinema Club. It's her like favorite band, one of her favorite bands, and she wanted to see them. And they were playing in Philadelphia, and they were playing at the Fillmore, and. We planned it out, or she planned it out, to get there and have a hotel and, you know, go to the concert and then do things after, go to the zoo, do all these things we could do on the on the day after the concert. Um, so we get there, and we get to the hotel, and everything's fine, except parking seems a little iffy because there's no parking at the hotel. Whatever. Um, but we're there, and then it comes time for the concert. Go, park at the concert, no problem there. Concert's fine come back from the concert and we could not find a place to park. Now this was 11 p.m. and we were, I was trying to find a place to park in the middle of the city. All the parking garage that they suggested that you park at was closed. Every parking garage near was closed. They all closed. I went in, I was like, hey, I can't find a parking spot. They're like, oh, you have to go to this parking garage, the one we recommended. I was like, it's closed. They're like, it doesn't close. I'm like, well, it's closed. So they like argued with me that it was not supposed to be closed. I'm like, it doesn't matter if it's supposed to be, it is. So I didn't find parking until almost one in the morning. Um, so two hours of trying to find parking and I was heated, livid, I was so frustrated. Um, I even told the hotel person, I said like, I'm about to request request a refund and just leave like I'm, I'm this is so frustrating and i'm not one to do that so um so finally i've parked and i'm at the hotel and then she's like upset because you know we couldn't find parking and it was a disaster but then she finds out that all the stuff that we were planning on doing the next day everything was closed everything so it like completely ruined the whole trip for her and like it was a disaster so we ended up just going home at like six in the morning, didn't even sleep, just went home. So 
no, that was fully planned out by her. I, on a whim, got tickets on Monday. No planning, no thought behind it. Just I'm just going. Got the tickets, showed up, instantly got parking, went right into the venue. Seats were perfect. Seats were right by the bathroom. She was the last one on the on the end, so it was easy to get in and out. The the to get to get drinks was right next to us. Get that in like a minute, no problem. Concert was over, get back in the car, head home, smooth as butter. And it really goes to show <laughs> sometimes you just wing it. Yeah. And you have geez. no expectation. And everything will just work because you try and plan it and you have expectations and they get squandered. So it was crazy how like smooth of the uh, smooth the experience was <laughs> when you went without planning it. So really glad I went um I uh, for the band for anybody listening um, may may or may not have heard about them. They're very very popular in the metal scene right now. That is Sleep Token. I saw them last year. They're fantastic live. One of the best live bands I've ever seen or heard of. So that was really cool. Really glad I got to see them again. Um, but yeah, so that concert was really good. Sometimes don't plan things. It'll go it'll go the way you need. Um, and then Wednesday. Well, yesterday, Akuma finally came out in Street Fighter Six a year after the game launched. <laughs> um, and that Akuma is the character like I wanted to play when Street Fighter Six got announced. I was like, I'm gonna finally play Street Fighter for the first time. I want to play Akuma. Oh wow, bam! Akuma is not in the game day one. They announce him. They're like, hey, before the game comes out, here's some of the DLC characters we're gonna do. Oh, there's Akuma. Oh, yeah, he's going to be the last character to come out in this DLC pack, and he'll come out in a year. And I'm like, holy crap. So then I had to find another character to play. So he finally came out. So I've been playing him. Um, I'm definitely having a hard time. I think he's difficult to play. And when you play, when you spend the whole span of Street Fighter VI playing one character like I did, and that character is Zangief, who does not play like a traditional Street Fighter character, and is not playing Street Fighter <laughs> comparatively... When you go to like the standard Shoto style character, it's so hard. It feels like I'm learning a whole new game. So I'm uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot, but I'm not adapting very well. So it's going to take some extra practice and I'm really going to have to work at it. But um, but yeah, that's uh, I think that's kind of been what I've been up to. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's anything else. So, since you're dropping four MGS four, and you, are you really moving to five? That uh, yeah. You uh no, because I want to play. I, like, I want to play Metal Gear. I'm really in the Metal Gear mood. Yeah. I love the franchise. I'm loving it, but I like I don't even want to pick up four because I know I'm like I don't want a game to be hated because of things. That don't have to do with the game. See, and Lost Planet is still a bad game, even if it ran smooth. It's a bad game. But it really made the game worse because of how it ran. And I don't want MGS4 to be the, like all I remember is how bad it ran and how frustrating it was because of that. I want to try and give it the fairest chance possible, but it's just, I'm not. I'm. I'm struggling to pick the game back up again simply because of how poorly it runs. And I know that the, or, another collection oops, is coming sorry. out. What? I said, you still playing Unicorn? Yeah, Unicorn, see... Well, I guess I can't... I, I haven't played it in a little while. The way I play strategy games, they really come in waves. They're like... I don't... They're not games that I devote my full attention to until I finish... I like get on and play them here and there. When I first got it, you know, I was like addicted to it. But much like Tactics Ogre, you start to just like every once in a while, you're like, yeah, I'll do a couple maps. I'll do a couple battles. But they're not like they're not JRPGs to me, like a traditional JRPG where you know, you're, you're, you're like getting through it in that way. I play them very differently. So um, whenever, uh, you know, I just wait till I'm in the mood to play it again. I think I'm like three fourths through it, though. There's a couple other things have uh, really taken my attention. Street Fighter has mo like all of it right now. 
makes sense. Well, in gaming, it has it has all of it. I haven't even been playing that many games, so or I haven't been playing games that much. Mr. No Games over here, not playing games, the gamer. No, just you know, went to the concert and then we had another we had an appointment yesterday to check up on the baby. Um and then working and stuff. So it's like just my free time has been spent honestly a lot of my free time has been spent uh playing guitar which that's that's like most the case anyway um but it's been a little extra lately that's all there's uh what the elden ring dlc comes out next no not next oh month my god it's like soon dude it's july it's like right soon. not june no, I think it is June. Is it June 22nd? Is that it? Look, I, I don't remember. I thought it was June. I, I thought it was like real I don't know soon. if it's June 2nd or July 2nd. Or Jaloon. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Never did that I don't before. Know. It just, uh, man, you're right in front of the PC. Google it, boy. Man. Got to type well, away. Outbreak DLC release. It's going to take two seconds. Man. I know. I just, I, I know the keyboard's annoying. June 21st. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like a, less than a month. A little less than a month. Uh, I, I was just thinking about that. It's like, man, do I need? To, I gotta get back and finish my strength playthrough or something. I haven't played that in a while. Yeah, it's been a little bit for me. Game. Um, but the thing is, I'm not really worried about playing it until a DLC because I'm just gonna play through it on my first character I ever beat the game with since I didn't go to New Game Plus. So I'm yeah, already. Yeah, I'm I didn't set. go to the New Game Plus either, and I, I have that character as well. Um, I just don't remember how to use the magic that I have. That's yeah. Like the problem is, so. plus I have the moon veil. It's like it's still OP. Is it, is <laughs> I don't know. Stuff, stuff did get nerfed, but I don't. I, know, I didn't I, follow that stuff. Yeah, I, I know it's. I know it got. I know like a lot of stuff got nerfed, like the uh, what sort of night flame got like yeah. massively nerfed. Uh, Bloodhound step or whatever got nerfed. Because when we played it originally, we played it before like any patches really came out. Oh yeah, the the only patches that came out were like game fixing but patches. That's it. Remember, like the, we played one the one line didn't even work yet. Yep, so. there was no. Well, there was no invasion. I mean, we literally got it day one. We got day one, and yeah. we pretty much just played it until we beat it. Yeah. So yeah, there was no was invading like day one, or for the first yeah. like first almost month, I think. Because we we did co op. We like got into each other's world day one just to do it, see how the co op yeah, works. Oh, yeah. but yeah, obviously hype for that. I'm I'm really curious at this forty dollar price point how long it's gonna be. How big is this? How big is this DLC? Like, I feel like it's got to be their biggest DLC they ever did, just based off of yeah. how the game is. It's an open world game, so it just by default I almost feel like it has to be their biggest DLC yet. I'm convinced it's like a point lookout situation where it's like you get sent to like another whole big map that you explore. That's exactly right? what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of people are saying that they think it's um um like a like what do they say? Oh man, I, I, something something along the lines where it's like a continuation of Limgrave or something to do with Limgrave. But I think it's just gonna be legit a whole different like map. Just you're gonna get warped somewhere. Yeah, you just get warped to like the center of the map, and you just yeah. get to explore it. It'll probably have like two legacy dungeons, on, like maybe. Yeah. I would say. I. You know what I'm excited I'm, about? Whether oh, there's like underground. I don't know if there's underground or not. What's that? I'm, what are you excited? No. I know this, this is just like. Well, I don't want. I don't know why I said I'm excited about it because we don't know something that I like. I get excited about to see if it's gonna be there, is the nods that they do or. Like how, you know, when you play Dark Souls 2 and you run into, like, Ornstein, you know, it's like, that's really cool. I'm really curious if there's going to be anything like that in this DLC, where it's like, oh, this, this, it's not, but it is, like, Artorias or something. I always, I always like that stuff. Because this, I will say this DLC looks very Bloodborne. From the screenshots I've been seeing. You watched the new trailer w with it? Nope, I did not. Okay. It's like a story oh, trailer, right? Is that what they call it? Called a story it? trailer. Yeah, I clicked on it. I'm like, oh, story trailer. And I'm like, oh, there's no gameplay. Damn. <laughs> and uh, so I didn't really, So I, and I don't care about the story. 
crucify me. I don't care. I, I just don't care about the story of those games. Yeah. Like, I'm not a big, I'm not a lore head. I should be because I think I would like them a lot if I actually delved in. But like, I just, I just like the gameplay. So I, I don't think really what I find it, out but... on my own is cool, but I'm not going out of my way to find out more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. But I was gonna say it looks very Bloodborne and the or no you said you asked if i seen the story thing and i i didn't but i saw someone on reddit they were like it was like a meme and they were like i watched the i watched the story the story trailer was like i don't understand an ounce of what i saw and i couldn't be more excited <laughs> it's, it's like that pretty much sums it up don't know what i'm looking at don't know what any of this means but man i'm hyped yeah. one thing that's crazy with that, with this DLC is like, you have to get the Moog to uh, access it. Yeah, which, which is like I feel like I guess late game. yeah. Well, I mean, that was like super late game. That you know what that sounds like to me? Maybe it's that, maybe it's just hard. Maybe it's gonna be a hard ass DLC and yeah. they, they can't let you access it too early. I mean, you can't get to trying to think. Well, okay. Because Dark Souls um, 1, don't you have to at least be three-fourths? Dark Souls 1, yeah, you have to at least get to the Duke's archives, so you have to kill that yeah. golem for the, uh... So you have to at least... So you have to at least get past Ornstein Smo. Which, Ornstein Smo is like the halfway point, right? I that's would like say. That's halfway. So... Like the halfway point, yeah. Because you have to place the Lord Vessel, that's where the golden things come down, and then you can instantly go to the Duke's archives, get it, and then head back. Um, I think the earliest DLC you can access from any FromSoft game is Bloodborne. Three. Bloodborne? Bloodborne. Uh, Bloodborne, you have to do the cathedral, That's right? It. All you gotta do is get to the cathedral, and that is like three bosses in, two bosses in. Dark you get there Soul, so fast. Uh, Dark Souls 3 is pretty early. Um, the first DLC, right? Yeah, you, the you church. Know, that's, that's the, uh, that get to the church. That's yeah. like one, two. That's like three right bosses before the, in. That's um, also three bosses. The, the 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 joke boss forgetting the name deep into the deep, yeah, deep, into the deep. yeah 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 you, you don't have to fight them yeah it's that area I mean, it's when I you remember, first get there i don't remember how to access the second dlc in dark souls 3 mm, i don't remember either what the it's heck like, cuz like oh well you could access it um you could access it from that dlc because if you when you beat that DLC, you get to you can get sent to the second DLC. Okay, um, I don't remember how. But, I just remember doing. But there it. is <laughs> there is another way. There is another way. I I can't remember. Um, the problem and the reason don't, I don't remember it is I just looked it up and did it, and then that was it. Like yeah, not yeah. a lot of thought behind it. So, uh, Dark Souls Two is like the, th the what the first you have to get to the Iron Keep. Uh, the other one you have to get to the rotten, past the rotten, and then the third one you have to get pat you have to get to the uh, shrine of winter. So you have to get, Ac well, to get to access the shrine of winter, you have to go into Drinklaic. So you have to get all the way to Drinklaic for the third DLC of uh, Blood of of Dark Souls Two. So that's that's pretty late too. That's like, that's like, I don't even know. That's like five eighths of the way through. Yeah, <laughs> that game's kind of hard to like gauge exactly. Well, I guess because uh, the thing, sucked. the thing with Elden Ring is they had to do something along the lines of, you know, access. You got to beat Moog, or you got to do something because, you know, with it being an open world game, you, you can get anywhere almost right away. So, if they lock it behind a boss kill, that's probably their best bet to try and make sure people don't get there too early. Um, now, speedrunners and all, they're going to find ways, and that they don't matter. They're, they're not the majority. It's just they need to make sure that the casual player doesn't get there too early. Um, so that way they stand a chance. I don't even know. With Moog, you, don't you have to beat, uh, like, one of the main bosses to even access that area? Because don't you have you to have get to the medallions? Is that after the Deckness medallions or no? Yeah, it's after. Yeah, um, which that I you have you... to, you have to do. You can't just get the medallions like right off the rip, right? Don't you have to do things to get access to them, like kill certain bosses? 
So for the Dectus medallions, well, I think they're just in the forts. I think they're in the two forts, the one in um, one in Limgrave and one in uh, uh, Kaelid. But like, I think I thought you had to get past Landale. Like you had to get into, you had to get past the boss of Landale to access Moog. Um, which to get into Landale, you have to have you have to kill three of the main bosses. Yeah. I think. Might okay, two. so it, it is locked two. behind. It's two or three. So you can't I basically. I from what I remember, is you can't just run to Moog and kill him. You cannot go right to Moog. So, I don't think so. so uh, that's... Do, 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 the thing of that game is there's so many different ways to go different oh, yeah. places, oh, man. Yeah. Like um, there's no real route <laughs> at all. No. It's just no. there's just main bosses. That's all. And some of the undergrounds, I don't remember because he's 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 one of the underground bosses. He's in the the Moog pa what Moog Palace or whatever it's called. Um, and there's yeah, two Moogs. There is two Moogs. The first Moog's piss easy. Yeah. His weapon's apparently uh, really, really good. People use is that it? a lot. Yeah. The Trident. People use that a lot. I remember, actually, I didn't have trouble on uh, the big Moog either. But also use the Moon Veil, so. I did. <laughs> that His bleed? Oh yeah. my god. High bleed. Yeah, you got high bleed Jesus, build up. Jesus, man. But yeah, you got to access you kill after you kill him, you get access to that little fleshy sack for the DLC, so Yeah, it's very excited, like, hey, excited for that. I Yeah, really excited for that. I can't wait. Right now, I'm really glad the DLC is like a month away cuz right now I'm not like in that mood fully. Um so I know by then with the you know, when hype starts to come around, I will be, but right now I'm like playing street fighter and i'm really into metal gear so i'm actually really glad that it's still about a month away so i can have a little bit of time to, uh, to get to get excited well, I'm, I, I'm like excited but i just want to be yeah. ready to actually play it um, i need to like get on i need to like get on my playthrough and uh re uh just kind of re-get acquainted i'm not yeah. even doing that i'm legit just going in Day it comes out, Man, just, be, that's all I'm doing. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Because I wanna, I I just wanna like get excited to play the game and the DLC at the same time. I don't wanna, I don't wanna like sure, yeah. start up playing now, play for a month, and then feel like I burnt myself out on the base game. And I'm like, I don't I know. See that, yeah. I just wanna play when the DLC comes you, out. You and, haven't played it at all since uh, the first playthrough, right? Like at I mean, all. I mean, like a little bit. Well, we co-opted. We co I'm like halfway through on a run for okay. the for the platinum that I didn't finish. I need to get the plat. Well, I got re I had to restart my platinum. Yeah, PS5. Uh, yeah, I went to PS5. So. Oh, do you see? Which uh, I, was, I still beat it three times. Do you see some uh, like random indie company or this person is making is like actually making Bloodborne cart for Steam? No, I never saw that. Yeah. It's funny, though. Yes. Yeah, it looks like the PS1 D make of it, but it's, yeah, it's. So you just see, like, gas coin in a cart. It's, like, just funny. It's, like, a legit thing that is. You know, you meme something enough, someone will make it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, um, did you see they announced Kingdom Hearts for Steam? All of them, yeah. Yeah, they're well, all, well, except Melody, the, except Mom, yeah, except yeah. MOM. Which I don't one, know why. It's just Let's one, two, and three, though, isn't it? Or one and two? No, it's and the collections. It's the collections. So even three, six, five, and. Well, I mean, you can't play three, six, five. Or but... like birth. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. the, yeah. It's the collections. It's uh, it's what one point five, two point five, okay. two point eight, and three. Um. Yeah, you know what that se seems like. Yeah, you know what it seems like is um. I think Square you know, Enix wants they... some money. <laughs> Um, yeah, and you know what day they release is uh, June thirteenth, right? Oh yeah. Which um, that's funny, because there's um, the thing with Kingdom Hearts is the number thirteen is a really big part of the game, and you know what other numbers are a real big part of the game is seven. And you know what June seventh is? Summer's Game Fest. Look at that. So, so everybody in the Kingdom Hearts community is just like. Namora, this this son of a bitch, he's gonna sh show four Kingdom Hearts four at uh, Summer Games Fest because he's thirteen and seven, of course. It's like 
I'm just like I believe when I see it. I, I don't. I'll, I'll, I don't believe it's going to be there. It doesn't seem like you a, better I don't only know. show stuff that's like worth showing. Well, yeah. You mean not don't show like two seconds? You like should they have did already, never like two years did what ago. he did. Yeah, you should have never did that. This dude is the dude who revealed King Mars three. Immediately said, "Yeah, we showed it way too early," and then did it with four. Yeah. So, dude, and he showed four even earlier. Yeah. Like, oh my god, man, that's so bad. I I will say, I'm very excited because what we'll only have. I guess it depends on if we do the Summer Games Fest podcast because then we might skip out on that Thursday's podcast. Um, but you know, let's just say after this one, we'll have one more podcast before Summer Games Fest. And I th- like, um, maybe talk. Uh, we'll probably talk about it even more next podcast. But I, I, I definitely don't have any expectations. There's nothing really? that I'm like. No. I'm really going into this with no expectations because. When I think about okay, we know Elden Ring DLC is coming out, so we know FromSoft's doing that. Um, so their time's taken up. Yeah, their right time's now. taken up. Uh, Square Enix, you know, they might show Kingdom Hearts. Okay, I don't care. Fucking Kingdom Hearts sucks. So well, they might the show that. Them is like to me, it's just like they just Re- Rebirth just came out, so I don't really see any big properties for them. They're working on. They other, may. Other than four, that sort of thing. And if they say anything, I think all they're gonna say is. Here's a remake. We're remaking nine or something, but like it's not going to be in the style of seven at all. Um, so it'd be like, I don't even know if it would be a remake. Uh, I don't know why people want a remake of nine so bad. Like, I like I don't know what they want. Like, and I don't know what they would make. I guess just make an updated graphics, just, like make it like look better. I guess I don't maybe. Know. I don't have a clue. I, I think and like Silk Song me, doesn't exist. Them, <laughs> yeah, to me, if any Final Fantasy gets a remake, like a full blown remake, not like seven remake not that scale but like to a degree and then like added content and like make the story better it, i think it's six would be the best one i think six would be the best one to get remade okay but are you just saying that because you like that one a lot i don't like six that much oh are you like four no you like five uh i love five five does yeah. not five okay. five has like no story so uh, i think people just want nine remade because they love nine i think that's it i think it's just because they like it I guess. I have nine in like the middle of the pack for me. I have nine and six both in the middle of the pack, so. Man, I, when I say I've never been in less of a mood to play like a turn based RPG, like, <laughs> it, I mean, it's not there at all. Of course, it'll come back. I'm not, not done with them forever. You know, people like to, people cool. get it dramatic, but it's just like I just really am not in the mood for that at all. So hopefully they don't show anything. <laughs> I'm going to be like, and if they do it, hopefully it's a while out. Cause uh, not not yeah. a new... But yeah, Summer Games Fest. We'll probably talk more next week. Oh, for um, sure. Because I'm not. Yeah, and if, if and, and, and if we're doing the podcast of like after, you know, yeah. we're not. There would be that'd be horrible to do one the day before. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be so dumb. I um, I I just I'm actually really trying to uh, avoid any like rumors and spoilers too because they're. The Any more, man. the more and more you just like, oh, rumors, rumors. That's how you get disappointed. Because even though you see something like, oh, they're they're doing a a full blown remaster of Grandia. It's like, like as a rumor, I I wouldn't even think that that would be a possibility. But when you read that and you can't help it in the back of your mind, like maybe they will. Are they gonna show it? You, it's like. So I just try to avoid it altogether. I don't even want thoughts in my brain about things that people are rumoring because 99% of the time, it's just not true anyway. And then when it's like, here's a legitimate leak, I try to avoid those too because it's like that kind of took away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, not, I don't fo- I don't have anybody that like gives me news on um games. Like I don't see news anywhere, like not on Twitter or like you know, YouTube The only person that I ever see stuff from or stuff like that. that from he's fucking David Vink. <laughs> okay, I do there, but like a lot of times it's like I love I love him, but it's a little um uh uh what's the term like um I'm blanking. I don't know. But like 
he'll be like, like what is he did a video on like Kingdom Hearts. I didn't watch it, but it was like Kingdom Hearts fans finally get what they want. It's like okay, it's like all right. Well, I like, saw okay. his like one video recently. He's like Dragon Quest, more Dragon Quest games, and I'm like, damn, like it's just like, it's like, like whatever, you know, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and it'll be like this. I'll be like this trusted Twitter leak leaker said like they're making. Dragon Quest 12. It's like, yeah, we know they're making Dragon Quest 12, man. Yeah. Um, like, I just, I don't want to hear that stuff anymore because, like I said, like, if I see one more, you know, it's like, obviously, the, the generic Bloodborne, for sure, Bloodborne. Now, oh, yeah, you know, okay. now you see things, it's like Chrono Trigger. It's like, man, just shut up. <laughs> I just, it just, there's, like, it's just all for clicks. That's all it is. It's all for clicks. Yeah. Um,. But I'm excited for Summer's Games Fest, even though... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I get excited. I don't get excited because of, like... even. I'm not even that excited about, like, oh, we're going to see these crazy announcements. I think I just get excited because I love video games and I love this hobby. And it's a really fun thing to get together for and watch. Whether it's disappointing or not, it's just something to look forward to. And... um, With... You know, I, you kind of got to hold on to Summer's Games Fest as tight as you can because it's like all we have anymore no e3 no packs yeah no you E3. know sony does their own thing xbox is right like all these companies you know sony xbox nintendo they just do their own thing for the most part and state of plays and directs and showcases so it's like man this is like the one thing other than you know game awards but game awards focus isn't even the awards <laughs> it's like legit it's just for like announcements but you know, Summer Games Fest is legit just all about announcements, it's, and it's the only fully announcement-only big gaming show we have anymore, so I I try and hold on to it, because <laughs> I think last year's was, like, a complete waste of time, but whatever. It's like, last year. Last year? was Wasn't that the year that they just showed, like, a plane flying straight for, like, 15 minutes? Like, nothing happening in this one game? Game I was like Fest. laughing so hard. That was maybe I, not I last year, it was the year before. I thought that was like a Ubisoft conference or something. something it was part stupid. of Summer Games Fest, though. Was it? Yeah. I do remember that. I do remember the plane just kept flying. Yeah. Did, yeah. Didn't it, did it like turn into like a car driving yeah, or something? Yeah, and a boat. It was like, yeah, it was like a boat. Yeah. Like nothing just, happened. And I was like, no way. I just watched that for 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. I do. I remember that. Yeah. I just can't remember where it was from, but that was hilarious. Um, the Summer Games Fest are pretty long. <laughs> Yeah, they are pretty long. Like, like four hours. Two hours. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah, they're usually like, they're pretty long. Yeah. I'm looking up last year's. So let's see if there's a vod of it. Okay. Uh, okay, Summer Games Fest was two hours. Summer Game Awards was four hours. So you might be thinking no, of the wait. Game Awards. Game Awards well, are all as long. Summer Games Fest IGN stream from last year was six hours long. That doesn't mean well, that well, it was yeah. full six hours, but technically, like, I would say it's probably four hours of announcements, but, because they, they, do, they do show things before the actual show starts. It's just stuff that, like, no offense, it's like no one really cares about. It's like small little things. So, technically, game announcements do start earlier than um, then the actual Summer Games Fest, but either way, exciting and you know, keeping my expectations low, like I try and do every time now. Uh, I guess I should talk about games I've been playing, huh? Cause I didn't talk about them. Yeah, yeah. What's what, what, okay? So the last thing I remember you talking about, let me let me got it. I gotta even think. Okay. Dragon Quest Builders got put on hold, and you were playing, you played Devil May Cry 1, and you were trying to plan yeah. that. I think that's the last yeah. thing I remember. Yeah, 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 because last podcast we had Tucker on it, and I played Devil May Cry 1, we went on like a 30-minute yeah. rant about Devil May yeah. Cry 1 being really good. Um, yeah, yeah, Dragon Quest Builders, I haven't played it since. I'm, <laughs> I, I, it's, I, I'm dropping it. I'll say I'm dropping it yeah. for now. I'll probably get back to it eventually, but it does This is the dropped. podcast that dropped games. <laughs> I guess so, and I'm not. I'm never been one to drop games. You know that. I'm always the one guy who like sticks with playing through games I don't like. Um, but I ha I was just having no f real fun with it. 
Uh, so that's dropped. Uh, Devil May Cry. I beat it on hard. Wasn't too bad. I'm playing through on Dante Must Die mode. Um, I got. I'm at Nello Angelo three, the third fight against him, and I can't beat him at all. Is Dante like, Must Die where he gets one shot? He doesn't get one shot, but no, no, that's that's heaven and hell. That's heaven or hell. Oh, mode. that's where you one shot them and they one shot you. They one shot you, yeah. yeah. Until until uh, Devil May Cry four, where they introduce hell and hell mode, where uh, they have like. Where you get one shot, but they have like the health and power of like the like highest like of like Dante must die mode. Okay. Uh, that's hell or hell mode. That's like really hard. Apparently, that's actually not that bad. Cause you just I think you just I think people say just like use Virgil and just like spam the one move that like annihilates everything on screen. <laughs> but um, no, Dante must die mode is just like really hard. Like like really really hard. Where enemies just hit hard. It's the bosses, man. The boss is like I think I think I saw like their power and their damage increases by five times, Jeez. right? And then they have like 1.5 extra health or something or like defense or something, but um, yeah, like No Angelo three, you get hit three times, you're dead, you you just die. Um, I I can't beat him, dude. Like I can't beat him. That's where that's where I'm at. So I'm actually near the end of the game, but there's nothing I can do. But I just I can't beat him. I'm saving my all my items for the final boss because I'm just gonna spam untouchables on the final boss so I can just beat him without trying. Yeah. Um, and I want to save some for Nightmare Three because he's hard, but I I can't beat Virgil, man. He's too hard. Like he does he does the he does the um blue swords attacks where he sends like the blue swords at you, but he has yep. like six different ways that they come at you and they just annihilate me. He'll he'll like wrap him around himself and attack you. And st I can't, dude. He he takes like no damage. Takes barely any damage. He's teleporting away. He get combos you. Like I'm not even getting close. Like the closest I got was like a fourth of his health bar down. That's about it. Damn. So um, so that's getting put on hold now too, cause I can't. I just can't beat him. Like I legit. I like. I'm like. It's like an orphan cost where I'm like. I don't know if I'm good enough to beat this guy. It also just gets to be if... like frustrating and not yeah, fun. You're not. Yes. You're not having fun. You're just frustrated. Yeah, so that's on hold for now. Um, a, I'll be honest, I don't have a lot to say. I don't really play a lot, like at all. Um, I just put in Dark Siders, right? Oh, uh, the first one. Yeah, the first one. Isn't that the one you beat? No, I the I played the second one, okay. and I didn't beat the second one. But I played like twenty hours, maybe the second okay. one. Uh, Are you playing War Mastered? No, I'm not playing War Mastered. Oh. I'm playing on the sh shitty ass PS3. Oh uh, my god. Uh, but I played that about 15 minutes. Was like, I'm not feeling this at all. Um, so that just got dropped. That just barely got played. I don't know if he really dropped it. If you never really started playing it, but that's I'm not playing that. I put in a uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, then immediately took it out. <laughs> I didn't even play it. Like, I didn't even play it. Oh, you didn't even load like, it I, up? No, I didn't even load it up. Well, I loaded it up to the main menu screen, then I exited. I, I, then I quit, and I'm like, oh, didn't Ray say he wanted to, like, play this with me or let him know if I uh, start that or something? Well, don't let that be the reason you don't play it. Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, that might still be the one that I play, maybe. Um... I don't know. Uh, I'll be not playing on the PS3, I'll tell you that. I'll be playing yeah. on that backwards compatible 60 FPS. Yeah, have fun actually enjoying the game. Yeah. Um, See, Puppeteer, I, games like Puppeteer, yeah. fine. 3D Game Heroes, fine. You know, I'll play those on the PS3 all day. You give me like a multi platform action game, I'm out. <laughs> and ain't been playing on the PS3. <laughs> then I. I put in Frogger. <laughs> what an absolute drastic out, difference. Uh, I put Castlevania in Frogger, and Frogger. Because uh, I wanted to, because I knew I was like, all, I wanted to see exactly where I was when Frogger on the PS3. Because that's where my saves are on. It's on, it's on that. And, There's uh, Frogger on the PS3? Well, I just have, have the PS1. 
Oh, to... I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I put that in. I had two levels left, of course, and because I was like, I know I didn't beat this, so I put that in yesterday and I actually beat it. I beat Frogger first time ever. Beat all the levels. Beat all the levels, boy. Got all the gold frogs. Finally got to see the ending for the first time in my life. Never got go. to see it. Um, that last level is horrible. Not okay, not the last level, but the last of the desert area is so bad. It is so hard, and like I realized in my like hour of playing it, it's like the reason that this game is like so hard is because the camera is so zoomed in that you can't see what's coming. <laughs> That's like the reason. Like you can't see what's coming at all. Yeah. Uh, and I found out a strat because what they actually want you to do in that level to beat it is ridiculous, like unbelievably ridiculous. The route you're supposed to go, but there's like a way. There's like you can uh, skip it by this like one jump that I don't think they knew was in the game that you could do. And I did that, and it made it like a lot easier. So, cause um, beat that though. I me and my mom beat that game on PS One. Yeah. Um, yeah. When I was a kid and uh th there's two there's a there's a couple things that kind of live in infamy when i think about that game and the first one the first memory i have is us struggling so hard on that um like lava level there's like lava on the floor and it's like there's like saws and rotating platforms and um it's like a very industrial looking level area you know what i'm talking about yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's the third okay. world. Okay, you're it's actually one of the easier worlds. Uh, it's actually one answer. of the easier worlds. Okay, so. but that's a vivid memory I have of playing that level. Um, that one, that one, always remember. I always remember. Yeah, that's my favorite world in the game. Um, I do remember. Um, I actually remember a, a part of the game where it's like dark, and you can't see as well. Yeah, that's the bad. And I think level, it's like that world. I think like you're like on ice or something. Yeah, there's yeah, there's like a skiing level. Yep. Um, and then you're going downhill. And then I remember um, one of the near the end of the game where you're like traversing through like a desert level, trying to dodge like yep. the boulders, and yep. there's like a bird you fly on. Um, yes, sir. But when I say that me and my mom beat it. Um, I probably had the controller in my hands twice. <laughs> Cause like, you know, man, I was, I was like five. I just, I didn't actually know what I was doing. It's the same with like Mario world. I, I watched more than I played cause I was so bad, but that's like a childhood game for me forever. Um, whether I like it or not, it's just like so hard, man. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a core memory. I still have my original copy, just the disc. Of course, I don't know what case went, but Yeah. It's like a game that I will never play again because I don't have interest in like playing it again. But I, I, I'll always cherish the memories of having it and playing it with my mom. Hey, but I don't think I'll ever play it again just because I, when I went in, I'm like, man, these sewer levels are horrible. They're so bad and hard. These like desert levels are hard as hell. It's like, dude, that game gets so hard by the end, man. Like, oh my god, those sewer levels are terrible. Oh, they're well. so bad, man. But it is old, and that's just what you expect. Some PS1 games are really ahead of its time, and then some feel like they belong right there in the generation. <laughs> uh, did you ever play Frogger 2? Nope. Only ever played Frogger. one Frogger game. Frogger 2's cool. That's, a, that's like a linear game. You go through, like, you just, it'll be like, oh, you go through this level, and you go through this level, and then this level. Never played the Frogger on PS2 either. It's like a 3D platformer or something. I, I did, and I hated it when I was a kid. <laughs> Absolutely hated it. And then I beat the game, then froze, so I didn't get to see the ending. What's it called? So, Frogger's Adventure or something? Uh, there's like two. There's actually two of them. Uh -oh. I think one of them's like Frogger's Big Adventure or something like that. It's always going to be Big Adventure. Yeah. You're, you're like, <laughs> Big Adventures. Never going on those uh, small ones. And you haven't played Pac-Man World yet, right? Just a little another, bit. Uh, Just a tiny bit. That's another classic arcade game that got transported into a platformer. Pac-Man World is really good, though. I love Pac-Man World, man. I love that game. Um, but sadly, I don't have a lot to say for this one. Um, so I just haven't been playing anything. I just haven't been playing, really. 
So, um, other than, you know, you said Lords of Shadow might be the one you end up playing. Is that, like, the only one that's really kind of piquing your interest or whatever? Or is there anything else that you were, like, thinking about maybe trying? Man, I'll, I I don't know. I've just been, like, looking. Like, I'm, like, looking at the games and, like... I was, like, looking at my list, too, what, what uh, games I had on my list to beat. And it's, like... I think I had, like, Yakuza Zero in there. I'm, like, man, I don't feel like playing that right now. It's a, it's a long game. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I like look at my PS3 games. I'm like, I don't know. Valkyria Chronicles and Residents of Fate stand out sometimes for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, look at your like... PS3 games and throw up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> even though they're like TRPGs or like strategy RPGs, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh I'm a little worried about Metal Gear Solid Five because it's long, but. I think like the you only... have the uh, the full one, right? Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, I have it sealed on PS4 because I was like, well, no point opening it until I play it. So hopefully, it's in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fucked. Yeah, that's because uh, I've only played Ground Zeroes. That's all I played. I did play that. So... Okay. I played that without it. That was the first Metal Gear like I ever like played. Because, um. It was free for PlayStation Plus. Was it? Or what? That's or cool. no? I think I just played the demo. Actually, I think I played the demo of it. You played a demo of a demo? I think so. Cause I didn't pay for it. I didn't pay for it. And I know. I'm pretty sure you got to do like the first level, or something. Cause I did not pay for it. I would have. I would have not bought that because I. I wasn't into Metal Gear at the time. So I would have just tried it if it was free. For a demo play five man i've had it since i got my ps4 dude i've had it for like 10 years yeah and i've never played ever put it in the system it's like i know it's pretty long but the long games i've been playing lately have been like turn-based rpgs and stuff and strategy rpgs so i feel like a longer game that's in the style of that game probably doesn't feel as long I don't think RPGs I don't just about... always feel so long i <laughs> think i know about five is apparently it's like open world or something yeah like weird weird like that and well, apparently I, it's really good a lot of people really like it actually so a lot of people like it but it seems like it's got that type of like resident evil 4 split opinion where it's like that's not yeah. this is not metal gear so where it's like the, di the different direction people like had a fit so okay but everyone i oh, know that's dude. played it loved it so i, I was watching a uh, speed run uh don't my cry right mm -hmm. um and the guy, like, right at the beginning of the video, I, like, clicked on him. I just, like, wanted to see, I just kind of, like, wanted to see how they, like, play. Um, right at the beginning, he's like, man, the combat of Resident Evil 4 Remake absolutely sucks. I'm like, all right. What? Let, me, let, me find, let me find somebody else to watch. That's crazy. <laughs> he's about how he didn't, like, he didn't like the combat of Resident Evil 4 Remake. I'm like. What's wrong with it? It's not great, but it's not bad. Like, what, it's generic. I will say that, but like, what's what? What makes it bad? Hell of I know. I don't know. Hell of I know, dude. Like I to me, listen. it's like it's exactly what you'd expect from a third-person survival horror game. <laughs> I thought it's like actually pretty good combat, all things considered. Especially being able to parry, parry yeah. in a first-person or a third-person shooter is pretty crazy. So I just mean like I it's not know, it's not good or great in the sense where it's like it's not gonna like stand out and blow you away. It's just like no. it's just the combat. Like I I think it just does its job. <laughs> I don't think it stands out, but I don't think it's bad at all. It's crazy. Oops. Yeah, but I was just like, yeah, whatever. I'll find somebody else. I mean, everyone, you, you're you're allowed to have opinions, and like, I'll always respect people's opinions. It's just sometimes I genuinely want to know why they think that because he probably didn't elaborate on. It. No. Like, what what don't you like about it? You know, what makes it bad? Man, I've also found out every time I watch speedruns, they're like the most snobby people. Man, you know. I don't they're always really like watch enough to to comment on that. They're always like shitting on chat and stuff. A lot really? Of them. Like, well, it, yeah. I guess they they know the game I, like the back of their hand. Question. Yeah, that's a stupid question. It's like, what, well, how, how's he supposed to know that, man? He well, speedrunners like, are miserable, man. They play the same game for hours. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, exactly. they, I mean they're that just is one miserable. Thing, yeah. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're a speedrunner, you're just bound to be miserable. You're, you're dedicating no so much time to this one game and the same pattern to get this on this leaderboard. Like, you've got to be miserable. 
I don't know. Well, um, I have no clue what else to uh, play right now. I'm in the uh, I'm in the no go zone for me personally. Sadly, Just yeah. got nothing not, nothing on my Happens. mind. I actually want to play. Um, not really in the mood for anything in particular. Time to go back to manga. Full time yeah, manga re- enthusiast I, I, I actually, again. That's actually what I've been reading. I've been reading yeah. a lot. I uh, especially since I'm, I told you I was switching over to Katatsu from Atachi Yomi, switching all that over, and um, I found out like a lot of manga that I like. I was like waiting on chapters that I like, completed, so I've been like completing manga that I've, I could have been completed like years ago. But good time. That's what I'm working on. It's a good time to do it when you don't feel like doing anything been... else. Yep. Uh, I'm still so far behind on like so man. I'm like he- like so far behind on a lot of them, man. Oh, I was like look at it. It's like you're like 25 chapters behind. I'm like, oh man, Jesus, because <laughs> then I scroll down. It's like, oh, you're 36 chapters behind on this. I'm like, oh my god, oh. Like, the problem damn. of being upset because you can't read them to being upset because you got too much to read. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way that goes. Well, yeah, I just don't have the time now, so. I think we've, uh. I think we've. Saw, saw all of our dialogue choices here. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're at the end. I think at this point we would just start rambling on nonsense. About things that don't even matter. Just to, just to pretend we're talking. <laughs> but it's been an hour and 40 minutes. It's plenty long. So. We, um. Yeah, I, like. Yeah, I don't know. I even put in Pac-Man World to play like a little bit, right? Just to, you know, play it. And um, do you know that originally Pac-Man World was going to be called Puck-Man World? All right, guys. Appreciate you guys they listening to this episode. Out of fear we will that see you guys next Thursday Puck-Man or World. Friday, you know depending that? on uh, if we do Summer Games Fest or not. So, again, appreciate you listening, and we will see you next time. See ya.